Sa pagpapatuloy ng ikalawang bahagi ng Balitaan sa Rembrandt, May 15, 2015, lalo nating hahangaan si Atty. Lorna Taakapataho Kapunan sa kanyang pagsagot sa mga tanong ng kapwa nating media na naroroon noong araw na yun. So, balik tayo sa the truth. Never lie to your lawyer. And, and that is the only standard. It is not how much can you pay me. It is not are you guilty of that crime. It is not, you have to tell the truth because everyone, everyone is entitled to due process of law. I am not pro I am not pro I am, frankly, uh, I, because there are a lot of people I'm sure you're going to ask that. Right? Yes. Ang sagot is, the party should not define the candidate. Okay? Ang the reason I am here is, itong mga partido, ang labi nilang sagot, eh, kung sino ang lalabas sa survey, sa lumalabas sa mga piste, o mga isko, ang mga dingdondantes, yun ang magiging senador natin. Kung oh yan ang batayan ng selection ng political parties. Kung sinarway niyo po ako ngayon, eh siguro number 2,001 tayo sa magat walang nakakaalam na gusto natin ito magbo. And that is why I'm doing the rounds with my friends. And please be kind when you write about me. Because I don't have resources. I just have a pure intention. And I have a dream. I have a dream of weeding out all those idiots in the Senate. Who do not deserve to be senators? Who are using their position not to legislate? Malino to malino ang separation of powers natin sa Constitution. The executive should do executive functions. Should take care of us, di ba? Social services. In fact, one of my agenda, if I get elected, is dapat we clean up the government so that public utilities do not have to be privatized. Tama. Tama. All pub, sa lahat ng pinupuntaan ko mga countries, especially in Asia, if you ask, who is running this transport system? The answer is government. Who is running your utilities? Public utilities, your power, your water, government. And that is why it is efficient. To let government handle our public utilities. At ang nakakatakot hindi ng public utilities. Ang nakakatakot is media. Is media. When you allow private entities to control media, you are controlling minds. You're not only controlling lives, the health. You are controlling minds. So, why will we allow private entities to control our minds? Nagpapasalamat tayo na libre, text, libre. Hindi po libre yun. Pinabayaran nyo yun. They also get information from you to feed you trash commercials. They feed, they get your data. Sino ka? Anong demographics mo? Anong social class mo? Tapos bibigyan ka ng advertisement. Bibigyan ka ng ano. So let us be careful of anything that comes free. So, pinag-aaralan po natin yan na dapat i-put back to government the control of our sensitive public utilities. Sasabihin natin, eh, di corruption na naman yan. But you do not solve the problem by creating another problem. You solve the problem of corruption by weeding out corruption. You do not solve the problem of corruption by giving it to private entities who have commercial interests at heart. Correct? So, parang, parang nakalimutan na natin what we learned in kindergarten. Diba? What we learn in kindergarten is you have a problem, you solve it. Kung may problema ka, you solve it. You don't run to your mother. You don't run to... And I'm talking also about our territorial boundaries. No? We don't run to good old US of A. We have because US of A has its own interest. We are the gateway to the Pacific. They have their own interest. Maliit man tayo, but 
we must not forget our integrity as a sovereign, sovereign king. Our own self-respect. We cannot say to depend on our diplomatic, it will affect our diplomatic relations with China and our Taipans and our Taipans. Taipan writer. <laughs> <laughs> our Taipans. 40, 40 families. 40 families in this country control 70% of our national wealth. That is the reality. Are we expecting another million depends on Santiago in the Senate? Yes. Yes. I am not going to be a respecter. I am not going to be Miriam Defensor Jr. I am going to be Lord Nakapunan Senior.
to them who uploads it, who is subject to the FBI. Alam niyo po, ang nangyari po dyan sa case ni Governor, the Governor knew that we were fair. The Governor and uh, Mrs. Governor knew that as lawyers we were fair. We were fair to both of them and that is why we agreed hindi na involved dito ang media. It is a private affair between the two of them. He committed. There is a private arrangement between them where he committed to fidelity. Unfortunately, you cannot monitor fidelity 24-7. So. This portion is brought to you by Ultra Pure Water Purifier. Samantala sa inyong lahat na gusto ng malinis na tubig, direkta sa inyong mga gripo, narito na ang Ultra Pure Water Purifier. Matipid na, garantisadong malinis na tubig ang hatid pa. Mrs. Taliado, incidentally, if you don't know, Mrs. Taliado is also chairman of the Camarines Norte Red Cross. And she's continuing. I was with her the other day. I said, kumusta ka na? How is your domestic situation? She is continuing to help the governor in his good works for the community. She has transcended her hurt and is building up the domestic situation. Um, and she continues to help through the Red Cross. Is the governor behaving? I think you should ask the governor. Considering the probability that Mrs. Tagliado post the post thing, what will be the implication? You know, the, I would call it self-defense. Her defense then, remember, she was under threat. And these are real threats. Uh, I will only talk about I will only talk about what is known to the public. I cannot because this is lawyer client confidentiality. I cannot betray lawyer client confidentiality. But everything that is public I can talk about. There were real threats in her life, she escaped, uh, she she hired a vehicle, she used a motorcycle in the end, uh, she ended up in Manila, talked to her college professor who said, ang makakatulong lang sa'yo na hindi takot dyan. And that's how she ended up in our office one, one fine morning. I did not know who she was. Uh, even before I knew her, who she was, I accepted her case. I accepted her case even before I knew who she was. Because I knew that nobody can threaten. Anybody. If it is so that she is, she was the one who uploaded the pictures, and I seriously doubt that. That is subject to criminal sanctions. But as a lawyer, I can say, if I were the wife, I would do it too. Because it is her self-defense. For instance, killing. Killing per se is not a crime unless there is criminal intent. Lima. Let's go back to the basic principle of criminal intent. If it is such that she uploaded, and I'm saying, based on what I know, I seriously love that, if it is such that she uploaded, she can, she can be sued for violation of the cybercrime law. But my defense there is self-defense. It was her own way of protecting herself, like killing. When you kill a person in self-defense, that is not only a mitigating circumstance, that is an exempting circumstance because you are protecting your life. In her situation, she was protecting her dignity as a So for a fact na, not your role for you no matter how much you do it, you actually do it practically. Well, I'm Secretary General of Action Democratico and uh, it still is uh, existing. Although I'm no longer Secretary General. I don't know what their plans are. Should be? Yeah. Hi, sir. Hi, ma'am. Happy po ako na narinig kong may bagong mukha na talaga na magbabago natin sa isa. Uh, kayo po ba'y nakahanda na ibigay sa amin yung mga ilang pwede ninyong ayusin sa bansa natin? Kasi alam natin mga problema. Mga ilang lang na pwede nyo i-point out na kung pwede namin siya. Ngayon ang bokasi. Uh, yung focus po rin. Kasi po, uh, sa akin po mga tagapakinig ng mga teachers, mga maritime agency po, 
So, narito na sa gustong pumuti at gumanda. Ito ang kasagutan sa problema mo, kapatid. Elmost Whitening Soap sa murang halaga kutis artista kana. na. 2,000 mo ng binipit mo ng aksyon demokratiko. 
our territory cannot be compromised. We are being raped. We cannot lie down and enjoy it. Because the present uh, COVID now, uh, Ms. Mark Mateo, ano masasabi ninyo din sa pangyayari? Kasi hindi pa na re-resolve ng COVID-19, smart money, etc. At kakalagilato pa naman kayo, baka mangyayari. Ano na ba ako naging bago na ako at si Commissioner Bill Watson? Nakasama ko sa Akralo, ng bata pa sa Pinto. At labi ko siyang kaaway na yun, kaaway sa mga kaso. Nasa asawa ko, nasa, kung nasa uwan ako, nasa husband siya, nasa husband niya, labi ko. Ang pinag-usapan namin ganito, sabi ko sa kanya, you know, Bill, when the Constitution was amended, it not only said honest, clean, orderly elections, it added the word credible. At nakakalimutan natin yan. Everybody saying, we promise clean, orderly, honest elections. They are forgetting the word credible. Credible ba? Ang, ang question is, credible ba ang system natin ngayon sa Smartmatic? Where in every district, meron na akong kliyente, hindi ko nasasabi. At sasabihin ko na lang, si Brother Eddie, matagal ko ng uh, kliyente si Brother Eddie, you know? At he came to me and said, how is this possible, attorney, na sa lahat ng district, especially, nag-test case kami, for instance, sa Nueva Ecija, kung saan nag-commit, kasi I think the very strong Christian communities in Nueva Ecija. And they tested it. In each and every precinct, maniwala kayo, he was number 19. 19. Is it possible to be number 19 everywhere? That means there is either human intervention or mechanical intervention or use of technology. So, my challenge to Commissioner Pink Watson is, mag-public hearing ka, makinig naman kayo. Do not be like your predecessor who was an apologist for the existing system. It might be, it is never too late. It is never too late to change the system, even if we have to go to manual. Pero a practical suggestion ko sa kanya is very much, and there is no offense to me na lang. Alam naman natin na ang nangyayari is is uh, ang huling nabibilang in Mindanao. Di ba? And ang sabi ko, my suggestion, Commissioner Guanza, is ba't hindi natin, because Congress passes a date for the elections. Di ba? Um, every year naman, hindi, hindi, hindi fixed ang date ng elections every year. Congress defines when is election day, when is the election period, etc. Um, sabi ko, eh, one of my suggestions was, bakit hindi natin unahin ang eleksyon sa Mindanao? Para yung mga kulang ng boto, hindi tatakbo sa Mindanao at magdagdag bawas. Because that is our that is our experience with dagdag bawas. Uh, kung kulang ka ng 3 million votes, eh, bibili tayo ng 3 million votes. And that was not made more difficult, that was made easier through this electronic system kind of election. So, maybe it can be considered that we do elections first in Mindanao at lahat kayo pupunta doon para ensure na honest to incredible elections. This is not to demean Mindanao, but it is really the system where it is very patriarchal. Very patriarchal. Kung may dynasties tayo dito sa Imperial Manila, eh, meron tayong patriarchal system doon, pamilya-pamilya na doon. So, uh, that is what the To be continued, dahil hindi niyo pa naririnig ang sagot ni Attorney Lorna T. Pataho Kapunan kung bakit siya nagdesisyong maging senador. Nabakaharap at pakialang galaw-galaw.